Never forget where you came from. YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. Uh, before we get into this, and it's gonna be real brief, shout out to the Grassy Posse, Tom Grassy, who who came through to the channel uh, for us to do that collaboration, talking about the Ravens and Packers upcoming game this Sunday at 4:25. We got a late game, so I like it. Not too late though. Um, but y'all make sure y'all check that video out and check out the interview we did on his channel too. Shout out to him. I always uh, really appreciate when people with bigger channels, because he got over 200,000 subscribers, when they are willing to come on to somebody with a smaller channel like ourselves uh, and, and do work. So I appreciate it. Shout out to Carter in the background. He's playing Mario right now. Anyway, me and Carter, we were out just vibing, chilling, having fun. Then all of a sudden, the Ravens, who I, I, Tristan Colon Castillo, he was the only person that was on his COVID list. And I was thinking, all right, Tristan Colon Castillo, he, he might be out depending on his vaccination status. He, he might be out for this game. He might not. But he's a reserve player. Okay. But then while we were in the middle, I forgot what game we were playing. We, we might have been playing Turtles or something at the arcade. And all of a sudden, it's, oh, Ravens put Chuck Clark. Chuck Clark on the COVID reserve list. I said, oh, boy. Oh boy, Chuck Clark. And again, the rules are, I believe you have to, once you test positive, uh, you have to test negative for two days straight and then you can play. Uh, but that would be Friday, then Saturday. Um, and then I, based off of the timing, um, say for instance, he tested negative tomorrow at five, around five, around 4.30. Um, and then test the negative on Saturday around 4.30. I wonder if the clearance is right after that second negative test, if you're good to go, or if you have to take, I, I don't know what, what the rules are with it, so I, I can't really say. Um, but with Chuck Clark, uh, this is a big blow. And I know a lot of people get on Chuck Clark all the time. Oh, he this and he's that, which is fine. Everybody got their own opinion. But now, like, and Jeff Zrebic, he pointed it out. He was like, oh, man, now with, with Ravens, they missing, obviously, Marcus Peters. He been out. They missing uh, Marlon, Marlon Humphrey. He been out for a game and a half, well, a game and a quarter. Um, and then they are, were already missing Deshaun Elliott. Now they missing they, they missing their whole starting lineup in the secondary. So now you, um, you got to hope Jimmy Smith finds a babysitter this week for his newborn, for him and his wife's newborn. And then Tay Tay, he'll be there. But last week was a little, got a little bit rough for him. But he should have a bounce back. Anthony Averett, uh, Chris Westry, you got a whole new starting line. But as safety though, what are you gonna do as safety? You just signed Tony Jefferson. He's not a free. He's a box safety. So you know he's getting called up. Like you, you know he's getting called up because that's Chuck right there. Who's calling the plays now? Who, who's going to relate the plays to all the players and get everybody right? Ooh, this game just got that much tougher. Ooh, but it's still going to be a fun one. Um, Geno Stone. Oh, man. Now that, that uh, our Darius Washington, that um, that injury hurts that much more now. But you know what's crazy? I, um, I Going into this game, one of my bigger concerns uh, was for uh, Brandon Stevens for him being a uh, uh, free safety. Cause I know he's not a true free safety, he's still learning the position, but for him being our free safety, this this young guy going into uh this game against Aaron Rodgers, you know Aaron Rodgers is going to try him. Aaron Rodgers is going to test him. He I mean he's going to try the whole secondary. Especially now too. But with um with us uh with him, I'm like, man, this is a young dude. This is why this the scheme this week, oh, it's going to have to be everything on defense. And now that much more pressure is being put on Wink to come up with a scheme that where you you writ like you really. We, we've talked about some moments in the past where Wink, I felt like Wink hasn't adjusted to the situation. You are going to be tested to the max uh, in this game because you ain't got nobody. Well, not nobody, but you missing like a lot, a lot, a lot. So. Your depth is being tested. Your scheme is being tested. The coaching staff is going to be tested. These players are going to be tested more than ever uh, this week on defense. And, hey, it's 
next man up. And I know with Ravens fans, we've been saying next man up literally all season long. Even before the season even started, we've been talking about next man up. But it almost seemed like they're going to run out of men. It seems like that. Like, and right now with the Browns, you know, you, like we, we hear about a new case with the Browns like every hour. It's like the Browns with their COVID, case, their COVID cases, it seems like they're trying to catch up to all the Ravens injuries. But the Ravens were like, oh, you know what? No, no, no. Hold up, Browns. You, guess what? We got something for you. Chuck Clark on the COVID list. So hopefully, first and foremost, um, most important thing, hope that Chuck is good. Him and Tristan Colon Castillo, really all these NFL players all all across the board, because they clearly been going through it. It's been a crazy, um, it's been a crazy like forty eight hours, because we keep seeing so many people put on the list, put on the list, this player, that player, that player, this player, and it's, it's crazy. And I know some people are thinking, oh man, will there even be a, a game? Will there even be football this week? But you know, <laughs> NFL like COVID. <laughs> The show must go on, buddy. COVID ain't stopping nothing. And, you know, they, they don't want to delay games either. Like, the, the only game that got delayed, uh, well, two games got delayed last year. This year, none so far. But last year, the Titans and Bills game, I think that one got delayed. And then, of course, the Ravens and Steelers game, that one got delayed. We we're, were playing on a Wednesday at 3.30 in the afternoon. Oh, that was crazy. Crazy times. But I, I told y'all, I actually... Uh, I didn't really mind, but Wednesday, I, I couldn't do that consistently. Wednesday, not a, that's, that's a super busy day for me. Uh, but anyway, um, so we'll see. We'll see how these guys step up. Uh, secondary, the guys that we got left, and we got Robert Jackson, Jimmy Smith, Tavon Young, Brandon Stevens, Geno Stone, Tony Jefferson, uh, Anthony Averett, Chris Westry. Who am I missing? I know I'm missing. So I got to be missing somebody that I just forgot about or something. And I'm sure y'all will let me know in the comments. But, man, it's uh, it's like one of my one of my guys, I think it was my guy, uh, Urban Aromas, he hit me up the other day. And he's like, man, we we just we, we limping to the end of this season. Limping. Trying, trying to make it to that finish line. And, 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 yeah. The Ravens know. They know about limping. They know about being hurt. Uh, this thing has just been, it's been a wild season, man. And it gets wilder every single week. Almost every single day. Almost every single day. Uh, Lamar Jackson, quick little update with him. He obviously, he didn't practice uh, yesterday. He didn't practice today. And some people still holding on hope that he'll play. And that, y'all you know, already know, that thought has left my, it ain't even into my mind that Lamar Jackson will play in a game this week. It's never been a thought. I never thought he was going to play. Still don't think he's going to play. Even if he practices tomorrow, I still don't think he's going to play. And again, I'm not mad that he isn't. They need to be 100 with him first. He needs to be all the way healthy before he steps foot on a football field. Not worth it. Not worth it coming back early. It's not. So Tyler Huntley season, he, Tyler Huntley going to go out there and do his thing. But we're going to talk about that more later. Anyway, team, keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. And I'm out. Carter, you want to say bye to everybody? See y'all.